what's going on everyone welcome to a whole new season of the slope podcast hey you know this your weekly podcast in the soccer michi series idol groups this is gonna be season six episode one or two really if you count the awards show uh we got we got lots of news to catch up on you know we took a quick like three week break from doing this podcast uh came back with the awards show so there's a good chunk of news to catch up on but before we get into all of that i am one of your hosts i'm jimmy aka jimmy tweets joined as always by my friend my fellow host we have josh mr josh box yo hello everyone welcome to a new year and a new season god we need to move on with our lives mr box (laughs) boy boy (laughs) was on top of it last year boy boy figured it out that's all i'm saying boy was on to something yeah, he had it figured out, dude. But, uh, He's like, wait a minute. Been, man? I don't have to do this. <laughs> yeah, the fuck? Why am I doing this? <laughs> okay, well, one day, we'll realize it. Mm. But that day is not today. Not yet, we no. have the podcast. I'm still stubborn as hell. We, I, I, I <laughs> sat down and set up OBS before this, dude. <laughs> hopefully hopefully this, this episode turns out a little bit more clear than uh, the award show. Apologies... To everyone who watched the uh, the award show, um, yeah, we had some technical difficulties, but uh, you know, it's it's not the slope podcast if it wasn't for technical difficulties, dude. So uh, exactly, since uh, we're, day we're one, going a little bit old. Yeah, we we're we're kind of going uh, a little bit old school today, just to yeah, it was a throwback kind of, it was a throwback episode. Yeah, yeah just to make sure everything will be fine and working for uh, the YouTube version. Yeah, um, you know, it humbles yeah, us. You, you know, been? it's like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that episode humbles us. So, you know, technical difficulties. It's like we're like, oh yeah, you know, doing this so long, you know, it lasted. I thought I had shit figured out. I was like, Dad, don't yeah, me. but then you realize we're all just people at the end of the day. No, I I think it's YouTube's fault partially. I mean, some of it's my fault, but partially it's YouTube's fault. Every time my video turned to shit, dude, was because uh, you notice is when I was trying to open a YouTube link. Right, mm. I was looking it up afterwards. Apparently, a bunch of people were having this issue where people's CPUs were fucking getting like just completely obliterated by YouTube. If you had ad block, they would just send oh. fucking packets at your computer, dude. Just trying to because they're, they're trying, you know, <laughs> purposefully uh, made it slow down. Yeah, they nuked my performance, dude. Because it so there's a good chunk of the the the, the episode where things start kind of turning normal, and it's because we weren't pulling up as many YouTube links. But the second I had to go back to pulling up YouTube links, you would notice that's when my voice would just go, you know? Interesting. We'll see. We'll see how this week's episode is. Hopefully it's not too bad. Yeah. But uh, as I've been trying to ask you, Mr. Box, how have you been? (laughs) (laughs) I've been good, Jimmy. Uh, it's uh, It's been a good little break. We had the award show. We're now ready to come back. Oh. Been, uh, uh, been you uploading some special? content. Yeah, you've been you've been uh, putting out videos. Yeah, if you guys go ahead and look at the channel, you'll be able to see plenty of interviews to check out um, from various groups. And today, in fact, we released a new one. Oh, <clears throat> yeah, this group is actually really fun. Uh, if you guys have not checked it out, this is with Exceptional Imperial Collection. It's a group of three girls, and then they have, like, a two temporary members that are, like, assistants. It's, it's like, a part-time job for them, so they can just come in and perform and, like, participate in activities. So it's a pretty cool content. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a support yeah, I think system. You, I think you're a pretty big fan of that, uh, that, that temp <laughs> member, aren't you, Mr. Box? I mean, if you look at all of their Twitters... You can be a fan of everyone. <laughs> I'll just say that. Interesting. I'll say that. You can be a fan of each one of them. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, if you want to find out more about them, make sure you go check out that video. It is up on our YouTube channel now. Yeah. Oops. And if uh, it gets enough views and comments, maybe uh, if they come to America like they're planning, maybe there will be another video. Well, well, we just have to time, wait and see. Time will tell. Dude. Time exactly. will tell. So please go and comment um, on the video. Yeah, yeah. It, it would mean a lot, you know. Um, it always helps make us look a little bit better. 
to these yeah. groups and and obviously we want to have like you know a good working relationship with these groups you know they they took the time out to come out and do uh content with us but it, not only that but it, it helps us to promote ourselves to uh you know other groups if we if you know you guys want us to eventually do you know i don't want to say better but maybe more bigger groups you know maybe more popular groups and stuff like that we got to build up we got to we got to build up you know so yeah exactly um, yeah you got to see it's please, worth it uh, yeah please do uh drop a comment on uh the interviews it would mean a lot to us and it would do a, a you know help us out a lot yeah for sure um i i have one quick story and then let's let's get into the uh the podcast i was uh I was refereeing a powerlifting meet this this week, right? This last weekend. Uh, these kids are getting so zesty, dude. I, uh, oh. I, I was, uh, you know, I was doing the weigh-ins as I usually do, right? Uh, mm -hmm. It's PM sessions. The, 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 the boys coming in to get uh, to the PM session. I'm like, okay. I always say the exact same thing. All right, go ahead and uh, you know, take off whatever you need to. And then step on the scale for me whenever you're ready, right? I say it exactly like that because some people, you know, if they're like, dude, I already know I, I'm, I'm way under my weight class. They, they're, I'm not, I don't need to take anything off. Some people are like, I need to take everything off, right? Mm, every so little I'm, I, ounce matters. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I always say, take off whatever you need to. Step on the scale for me whenever you're ready. So I say, that, going through the athletes, this dude comes in <laughs> and he's like. I say the exact same thing. Step, take off whatever you need. Step on the scale. He's like, "Hey yo, say less, Poppy." And he just starts undressing. I'm like, "Bro, <laughs> you can't just call me Poppy and start undressing, dude." <laughs> I was, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I was, I was, I was thinking about that for a while afterwards. I was like, "Is he, is he trying to flirt with me?" <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Call, call you, they don't call you Poppy for no reason, you know? Saw you? It's like, all right, I got you. I got what you want right here. <laughs> Sheesh. You was trying to get those white lights by any means, dude. By any by any <laughs> means, dude. <laughs> like, you're a judge, right? All right. <laughs> Say less, Poppy. <laughs> uh, anyways. Uh, all right. We got, we got a big episode. Uh, we got lots of... Uh, News to talk about, like we said, you know, we took a little break, so uh, we're, we're going to be missing some things. I just want to put that out there. This isn't by any means a comprehensive uh, covering of everything that's been happening in Sakamichi Group since we've been gone. Uh, this is kind of the highlights, the highlights, I guess, yeah. the big stuff, right? So, mm -hmm. of course, there was, there was some, you know, news about, like, certain members appearing in this and that. Um, new projects and stuff like that, but you know we'll, we'll we'll update those as they come out. But these are the big things. So if you've been um, uh, was if you've been uh, following the group for uh, you know, or you took a break from following the group while we've been away here, hopefully we can uh, catch you up. Yeah. So uh, first thing we got we got kind of some some joint Sakamichi group news, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be showing the. Uh, what is it? The the news uh, update from Nogizaka's. But if you go to any of the group's website, you'll find a similar thing. But uh, as you guys know, um, January 1st of this year, there was a very major earthquake, right, uh, that hit Japan. Um, and, you know, obviously there was a lot of uh, damage. You know, a lot of people that have been displaced and things like that. So, uh, to support that, all the Sakamichi groups are... Uh, Doing a joint fundraiser in uh, coordination to the Japanese Red Cross Society to uh, fundraise for uh, humanitarian aid for uh, the Noto Peninsula earthquake of 2024. So they'll be having, um, they'll be taking donations at any of their uh, live, like in person events. So whether that's like venues for lives or for meet and greets and things like that, you can go and uh, make a donation to help out. And so it's cool. It's uh they're they're doing this collectively as Nogi Zaka forty six, Sakura Zaka forty six, and Hinata Zaka forty six. Um, yeah, Nogi Zaka LLC and Seed and Flower. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's something. Hey, it's important. You know, I think it, I think that's a. Uh, you know, while I while, while we've been saying I want to see them do more things together, it sucks that uh, 
obviously the reason for that is uh you know something so tragic but i'm glad that uh you know they saw the importance to uh come yeah. together and try to do something right yeah something good yeah yeah help out God, that, was, that was crazy dude it was literally like new year's right I mean, for us new year's eve right uh-huh. and it's just like new year's day in japan i was like oh shit we yeah i feel like the whole the whole first week like something something happened in japan yeah. everyone was like what's going on it's the start of the year it's already like this yeah oh god this earthquake oh this plane's on fire i'm like uh-huh. haven't they suffered enough world uh-huh. <laughs> haven't but yeah so uh that 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 is it for kind of the joint news um yeah make sure you know uh if you can donate if you can't you know obviously for us out in the west you know we can't really uh go to these in-person events to donate but if you go to the uh japanese red cross society uh website you can find ways to donate from there if you if you feel so inclined and you want to help out despite you know not being able to go to uh these sakamichi's in-person events so if you just go to uh what is it if you just google search uh japanese red cross society you'll find the website but uh it is jrc.or.jp and uh you can have it in english too for uh for people who are illiterate such as myself you know so if you're worried about not being able to read to to do it uh it, it is available in english yeah okay let's uh let's keep moving we got some uh hinata zaka news uh, like I said, we're going to be mainly covering some of the big news that happened uh, within this past month. Yeah. And uh, this one's a big one. A very big one. We have a graduation announcement oh, coming no, from say it. Hinata Zaka 46. Who is Jimmy? It's going to be Saito Kyoko, dude. Oh, no. Not Kyoko. You know, every... Every bit of news comes by, and boys' attachment to uh, seed and flower groups just dwindle <laughs> further and Every further. Every time, dude. it's yeah, just like dude. even more reason not to follow. Yeah, we, we, Josh and I are trying our best to just get him back, dude. He's like, I just, I, you know, I'm good. I'm just listening to Ogizaka. I'm like, ah, come on, dude. Uh-huh. You know, he not Look, the Zaka. Still... He's like, make him listen to his songs. He's like, okay, that one's pretty good. Looks excited to kill the graduation. Never mind. <laughs> Damn it. But yeah, so uh, she she announced her graduation over on her blog earlier uh, earlier this month, and uh, they did announce that uh, it will be happening at uh, the fifth Hina Tansai. And uh, yeah, if you're wondering, uh, Saito Kyoko is one of those members that's big enough to have her own graduation concert. So. Um, you can find that information over on their website. I believe there is a special website for it already. Let me let me go back. Oh, um, I don't see it anywhere. Here we go. Yep. So, uh, yep. There's a special website here for the uh, graduation concert. It's going to be on April fifth. During mm-hmm. uh, Hina Tansai, their big anniversary event. Um, so if you go down to the thing, there's a, the schedule for ordering tickets. They've got the fan club pre-ticketing, the second round of fan club pre-ticketing, as well as the official uh, official pre-sales, and then general sales will be on March 23rd. But I think I think if you're waiting for this March 23rd date, you might be a little bit SOL. So um, uh-huh. yeah, the yeah, first event like is start the, at February 5th. Yeah, the earlier you can get in on this, the better, I think, right? Yeah, for sure. The, the, the seats are randomized, so, I mean, if you want to try your luck, but I mean, I might as well try it every chance you can from the beginning. Yeah, exactly. Um, especially, you know, if, you, if you're trying to, like, for us international folks, right, yeah. it's kind of a big ordeal. Because um, uh-huh. now you guys start planning your trip around it and everything like that. So the sooner you can lock in and get tickets, the the you know the sooner you can do your planning. Yeah. Um, I'm not yeah. super familiar with this uh, ticketing process because I've never been to a concert in Japan. Um, but do you, you need someone with a Japanese phone number, right, for you to uh, pick up your tickets? He, sometimes they do the... I haven't gotten a Hinata Zaka ticket. But sometimes they make you do a... Uh, just to sign up for the account, you need a phone number. Or sometimes mm. they send a verification code to the phone number to like yeah. buy the ticket. Okay. So it just depends on what yeah, platform I think, they 
that's uh, that's what I've heard, right? Is like I think if you have someone in Japan with a phone number that they can just you can coordinate with them and have them just send you the code. I think that works. Mm. But um, yeah, uh, someone uh, someone more knowledgeable can probably leave a comment in the YouTube video or come onto the Discord. We we've got people who've done this shit more than uh, we have, so you can you can talk to those people there. But uh, yeah. or sometimes you have to print it out at the convenience, and you know we can't go to a Seven Eleven here and be like, I'd like to print this. <laughs> Rip the sticker, please. I'd like to pay and print for it here. All right, kind of fucked up. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, they're mm. both 7 Elevens. So why not? Dude? Yeah, right? Or um, just go to the Family Mart in LA. <laughs> Little Tokyo. <laughs> look, look. Japan, we'll give you, we'll give you guys Slurpees. You uh -huh. give us everything else. Plus getting tickets, all right? Sounds like a fair trade to me. <laughs> Sounds like a fair trade to me, dude. Uh-huh. Um, Just give us yeah. a regular so, time mark. I'm fine with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I have mixed feelings. Obviously, it's always sad to see someone go, right? Uh, it's oh, yeah, always kind of sad to see Frisian. But I, I feel like Kyoko, Kyoko has kind of been on her way out. You know what I mean? She's Yeah, I get that vibe. I get that vibe. Like not not in like any bad way, but it's just like yeah, I think she's no. been kind of uh, being she's been preparing for this for a while, right? Whether intentionally yeah, she's or been, not, she's been working on her like uh, solo career for a minute mm -hmm. now. So I, especially with some of the string of very unfortunate uh, graduations we had last year, I think this is a nice one. I think this is a good one. I think she, to me, Saito Kyoko comes off as someone who came into Nogi, or sorry, came into Hinata Zaka, or rather Hiragana Kiyaki Zaka. Oh, true. Right, and uh, did did uh, did everything she wanted to do within the group. You know mm. what I mean. She got a photo Even book. Even stuff she didn't she, want to do. <laughs> she got yeah. She got her photo book. Uh, she got you know she did her you know her solo live. She got a first yeah. take. Right. She's, she's yeah. A, she's done a lot. She's done a lot. So um, I, I think I think she'll be fine. I think she'll have a very solid uh post grad career oh, yeah. hopefully she does a, a solo debut or something like that i think you know she has she has she, you know we all know she has the voice so i think doing something yeah like that would yeah be definitely want to see something with that in the future for her mm. but okay let's uh let's move on to some uh maybe happier news i guess i suppose you could say um last year we had a hiatus uh that ended during uh the uh, the end of the year music show, I believe, during CDTV Live's New Year special, we got the return of Nibu Akari, dude. Oh, oh, the nation's Imoto, she's back, dude. She's there we go. Back. Six months, right? Around there. Yeah, yeah. She was gone for a while. Well, uh, August, so August, September, October, November, December. Five, like four months. Four months. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So she 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 posted a little bit more in her blog. Um, I. I'm sure there's English translations of their of it circulating around somewhere. If you want to, I couldn't find one. But if I if you want me just to to sum it up, uh, she basically says she's still kind of ongoing with uh, her condition, right? I don't think there's like any kind of immediate cure or or uh, any kind of uh, what is it uh, solution she can have for her. Yeah, I think it's a her, her ongoing back pain. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know her her condition kind of. Uh, the state of her condition kind of changes from day to day, so she's going to come back and try to uh, just you know do be as active with her activities as much as she can, and uh, go from there. And you know I I'm glad I'm glad that that's that. I, I hope she paces herself. She doesn't do anything to like re-injure herself or to exacerbate her condition. Yeah. But uh, I hope she's still able to enjoy as much as she wants to, right? Being in yeah uh, the Zaka. exactly and, yeah so. Uh, yeah, it, yeah. Make sure you go read her blog. She she talks about it a little bit more. Uh, well, obviously with more information. I'm I'm just kind of quickly summing up from memory. Um, but yeah, if you kind of want more details from there, it's that. But yeah, she she's uh yeah she's coming back. Um, yeah, glad I, to have we, a little, talk about this little gremlin right? back. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bro, I was watching uh Soko. Not Soko. Uh, I was watching Hinata Zaka de Aima show. And just hearing that little gremlin voice, dude, I was like, oh, I didn't realize how much I missed this, dude. You know what I, I missed mean? this in my life. <laughs> oh, I missed this. Uh -huh. Ina! Ina. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, I was, 
I was saying this uh, during the pre-show, dude. I every I every time I'm having like a bad day, I just listen back to my uh, my Nibu meet and greet, dude. When I ask her to hit me with a spirit bomb, you know, mm. she's like, "Oh, Nibu, can I can I get a spirit bomb?" She's like, "I got you." <laughs> <laughs> you're in your last set. You're like, I need a little motivation. Pulls it up. Yeah, oh, I got this. <laughs> the weight of the world is just on my shoulders. I feel it. <laughs> And I have to lift it. <sighs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, glad glad to have her back, dude. Um, yeah, I, for sure. Yeah, take your time. I hope you recover. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll be pace. supporting. We'll be supporting you. All right, let's let's move on. Uh, we got we got some Sakura Zaka news to talk about. A lot of a lot of Sakura Zaka news. They've had a very very busy past month. You know, earlier we we're talking yeah. about. Uh, Saito Kyoko's first take that she did as part of Hinata Zaka a while back. And, uh, yeah, we got a number of first takes from, uh, not a number, we have, we have two. We have two new first take videos from, uh, Sakura Zaka 46. Um, first one is going to be featuring, uh, our girl Fujiyoshi Karen. She, she does, uh, start over her center song right uh, mm-hmm. this was this, this was a lot of fun i think if you, if you remember back to as they were announcing everything right um oh, yeah, the it's kind of like oh who's who's going to be the center or like who, who's it gonna be right uh, then eventually you find out it's Zaka, you know? oh which song is it gonna be dude it could be anything uh, <laughs> everyone so, had their guess uh, you know yeah yeah so then we had to start over and then uh Secondly, they they announced another one, a couple. So we all, I at least me, I thought it was like okay, you know, usually it's like a solo person, and then the next one is gonna be like a a, a group of members, right? That was that was yeah. the case with uh, Hinata Zaka, with mm-hmm. Nogi Zaka. So I thought it was gonna be the same, but no, we got another solo performance, uh, this time featuring uh, Yamasaki Tenchan, dude, um, yeah, singing her center song Sami Dare Yo, which uh. I will say this is a six-minute video. God, Sami Dare Yo is way too long of a song. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice song, but Jesus Christ, it does not need to be that mm. long, dude. Um, well, Jimmy, I I've uh, uh, been a patient boy and I've waited to watch it live on the podcast, <laughs> as is tradition. You know, I'm, I'm just over did here. You, did you know. wait? Or did you just never get around? I waited. Watch? What do you mean? <laughs> did you? I could have watched this at any uh, time. Then why didn't you? Then why did I waited you? for the people? <laughs> oh my god! Okay, I'm sure, right. I'm, I'm so sure we're, everyone we're else go- waited, right? We're going to we're going to watch it together real fast, and then we'll be back. Be back. We'll be back with Josh's <laughs> thoughts. On the the Sakura Zaka first takes. All right, Josh, Ooh. what did you think about those first take performances? <clears throat> well, uh, usually I look up reaction videos for first takes. Mm-hmm. I might look up like one or two for ten, but uh, cutting. I think I'll just leave it like that. That's fucked up, dude. That's fucked up. I, I actually kind of agree, dude. I uh, so I think I, I think I told this story on the the award show about what made me decide to become a Tenoshi. Right. Uh-huh. I uh, so Karen's. Okay, they, 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 these happen in opposite directions. For Karen's, I started out so excited. Right. I was like, dude, I. I've never heard her sing like unedited, just raw. I've only mm-hmm. heard her in like recordings, but I've I really enjoy her her voice, and I still maintain this. I still believe this. I think Karen mm-hmm. has a good singing voice. I just don't think it came through in this performance. All right, um, I th- I think that she, her, uh, her head voice is not really uh her strong suit. Right, I think she should have. Mm. Uh, she should have sat a little bit more in her chest voice, you know, um, uh, getting that, get that little deep voice, right? I'm not even one of those people that think, oh, high pitched voice, good, uh, bad, 
deep voice good. A lot of J-pop idol fans kind of lean that way. I disagree with that, but I just think Karen sounds much better there, right? Um, if you listen to her singing the bridge of Start Over in the the recording ver the the album version versus this version, she sounds, in my opinion, so much better in the uh, uh, recording. Uh-huh. So I was, uh, I mean, yeah, I guess you know, if I'm just being honest, I was kind of disappointed, right? I was, I, I just had really high expectations, and uh, it did not really live up to it, right? I, I think, and there's so many reasons, right? You literally, you know, first yeah. of all, she has one take, and uh, you know, uh, she's, uh, well, I mean, we don't know, but you know, that's the whole yeah, point. Yeah. Right? <laughs> that one take. Then, well, you know, there's probably nerves and shit too involved, right? She's, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's like. Like the, the, the odds are still stacked against her, with this. Then I'm like, at least she like still like came through and like performed and, and did it. You know, like you can't knock yeah, her for yeah. like doing that. Yeah. So I'm. I mean, I'm not hating. It's just like, like I said, like my I I, I just didn't live up to my uh, my expectations. You know what I mean. Um. Meanwhile, the opposite. So, as soon as it was revealed that Ten Chan was doing the second one, mm-hmm. I was ready to go on defense mode, bro. I, I was I was ready. I, I like I had my keyboard just on my lap, dude. I'm like, okay. <laughs> who am I who am I going to go to war against, you know what I mean? But uh surprisingly, I think Ten Chan did very well. I mean, I shouldn't say yeah, surprisingly. Yeah. That sounds awful. But uh I think she she exceeded my expectations. I think Ten Chan showed a lot of uh in a good way, restraint with with mm. her with her performance, right? Um, I said this before. Ten, Ch- okay. I was ready to go. Th- I was ready to do this on 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 Twitter. If any, if there was any haters, I I saw. I would be like, Ten Ten's voice is an acquired taste. Okay, you just well, you just well, haven't well, learned off, to appreciate. If anyone it. missed the award show? Jimmy, who is your new Oshiman in Sakura Zaka Forty Six? Well, uh, I'm sure you can guess now. It is Yamasaki Ten. All there right. we go. It is Yam- now continue, Ten-chan. continue your argument. <laughs> But uh, I was about to be like, dude, her, she's an acquired taste. All right, you gotta listen. To, you gotta listen to it more. You know, you'll you you learn to appreciate. And, and, but like, uh, she definitely has that uh, very shrill, nasal mm. kind of voice, right? And it, it's it's very cutting, right? Mm-hmm. So if you if you like that, you like it. If you don't, it's fine. You don't. But uh, I think I think her first take had a lot of restraint. She had a lot of control. I think that's always my biggest thing with with Ten Chen's live performances is that like mm. it's so hit or miss. Sometimes she she nails it, and sometimes she she just is like, ooh, that's 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 a little bit off the mark, you know. Yeah. Um. um she's she's one of those. Uh, I was worried because like she, I think she's one of those that needs to like, kind of find the key a little bit, you know, mm. when she sings. Uh-huh. Like she doesn't just hit. She doesn't just hit the note. Right, she kind of like she doesn't start overshoots. Off. She has to, yeah, yeah. She gets accustomed to it. Overshoots and then kind of grooves back into it. But oh, uh, she okay. didn't do that here, so uh, I, I, I was very pleased. All right, I think uh, if you ever, if you ever hear her do Sami Dada Yo at like live performances where she hits that first note, it's always a little bit sharp, and then she comes mm. back down into it, right? Or uh, what is it? Uh, Boku Tachi no Love and Rose at a. The anniversary live, it's the same thing. It's, it starts off with a Ten Chan solo line, right? Kimi mm-hmm. Watson, Boozen, Boo, da, 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 da. That, that mm-hmm. Kimi is always a little bit sharp, and then she kind of like uh, comes into it, you know? So, uh, uh-huh. she's so excited yeah, to sing, Jimmy. You know, she just goes in, it's like, I'm about to, yeah. I'm about to belt. She's like, oh, wait, I gotta actually sing. Yeah, it's not, it's not bad. I just said, you know, she just needs a little bit of control, and I think she, I think she demonstrated that here, you know? So, yeah. uh, I was, I was very pleased. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think it was, that's it was so, pleasant. I, I I don't think they're that far apart from each other in terms of quality. I, I, I I'm not gonna say like, I, you know, people are making fun of me for having the Oshi lenses already. I don't. I'm not that deluded where like, oh, Ten Chan, the vocalist of the year, dude. You know. <laughs> um, I mean, they have Matsurina on there. <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest. I don't even think Matsurina is that 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 good. Well, I mean, if you compare it to other members. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I've said this before. I think that's Sakura Zaka's biggest weak point is they don't really mm. have any strong vocals, right? Matsuda okay. Arena is their, like, you know, that, that's their best singer, right? But, like, 
you know, I and I, I, I this sounds mean, but I, 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 you know, I, we're we're here comparing, right? So I can't avoid comparing. Um, she's not like, you know, an Iku Chan or a, a, a Saito Kyoko, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, like, their best is is you know, probably average in the other groups, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So. That that I, I I do hope that this gets addressed. I, I really think that first Have the new gen has... showed any any singing ability. I I mean I haven't really had a chance to hear them like live unedited, you know. So it's hard to say. Uh-huh. Like I I've listened to their solo uh, individual PVs. They so yeah, there's some members that sound good. I think Airi sounds good. I think Murayama Miyu sounds good. Uh, I think Ishimori Rika sounds really good. But um, who knows what they sound like all, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That, that's the important thing, especially for these first takes. It's like, mm-hmm. there you go. This, this is you straight up. So this is what everyone's going to yeah. see. Yeah, they need, they need to get the, 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 the Sakura Zaka star Tanjo, dude. They need to start developing some singers in this. Oh, group, yeah. Yeah. Cause, How about uh, just Sakamichi joint star Tanjo? Ooh. That way everyone gets a chance, you know? Yeah. Why not, right? We could get all the new gens in there, dude. Yeah. It's something. Because I, I feel like right now, Nogi Zaka, vocalist-wise, is very stacked. Yeah. I think they have a lot of very good singers, right? Um, I, I think there's there there there's there's a number in Hinata Zaka. I wouldn't say they're as stacked, but there's there's a few I can think of. Mm-hmm. Um, Sakura Zaka doesn't really have anyone, dude. Yeah, you can't really, like, point him at them and be like oh yeah like she's really known for her singing it's like yeah she mm-hmm. can sing but she's not known for her singing right yeah exactly like i mean and then and, and i don't mean this to diss sakura zaka they've found success in in really uh like honing in on their strengths which is i think performance right yeah like you know if you it, it, you watch them perform live there are no slouches right like they're mm-hmm. when you when you do when you see shonen yoku being danced live like it looks better than the pv in my opinion you know, and mm. so um, that that definitely does speak to a magnitude. But because of that, I think because they focus so much on the the dance and choreo, I I think there's some uh, talent that needs to be developed. I think I think the best singer. I mean, we we we, we haven't been bringing up Yui Pon, which is uh, mm. I think uh, is unfortunate because I think she probably, in my opinion, is their best singer. But she's obviously going to be leaving. Definitely come a long way. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, it is what it is, but uh, uh, yeah, I I have mixed feelings about these first takes. To be honest, like obviously, I'm super happy for uh, Sakura Zaka to get this opportunity, but like I said, it just seems somewhat of a waste because like they're they're not they're not a vocal group, you know. So why are you promoting them on a, a YouTube channel that is built around vocal performances? You know what I mean? We we had like a yeah. whole lengthy discussion on uh, in Discord about what makes a good performance and whatnot. And yes, I do stand by. I don't believe you need to be a good singer to have a good vocal performance. But by God, it have helps. a chance. <laughs> yeah. But by God, it helps. You know what uh, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, especially, especially I don't know. Valley, like, right? Yeah, like Ten Chan's voice works because that arrangement of Sami Dario is very sweet. Right, you know, like you have the violins, the, the strings, right? It's very mm-hmm. like gentle. Uh, Ten Chen has this childishness to her voice that I think is mm. very uh, uh, fitting, right? So because you know, so she doesn't need to be as good of a singer. I think that's why that performance works so well. Whereas the start over is like, you know, you have these crazy funky bass lines dude uh-huh. the guitar you know the, the rhythm guitar is super jazzy so i'm expecting some strong vocals you know yeah give me like, like a jazzy alto patience, right? yeah exactly dude and so th- because that's where you really saw in my opinion the, the 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 disparity there in terms of like the the uh backing like the instrumentals and then the vocals you know mm-hmm. They were like, oh, let's distract them with the instrumentals. Nope. Instead, it just made people expect more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, uh, with, with, with like that kind of funky bass line, I was expecting Kanan to like start growling, dude. <laughs> you know, start over. Start over. You know, go crazy. Uh-huh. 
but uh-huh. yeah um it is what it is but yeah speaking of, of uh vocals you know we mentioned yui pon uh she's going to be leaving us big sag big uh-huh. sag but uh as we we kind of discussed earlier she is getting here her own solo uh song right they 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 kind of stuck it onto a special version of shonen yokyu that uh, released yeah. separately later um, but yeah, not not only did they give us, but we have a PV for it. Oh, uh, Kimi ga sayonara ga ie datte. Uh, this released like uh, just a little bit over two weeks ago, or I'm sorry, a little yeah, bit over yeah. a week ago. A under. Almost two. Did you watch this yet, Mister Box? Nope. I feel like that's a lie. I feel like you said you, you we talked about this, but that's fine. I, didn't I watch I'll it. Appease. I haven't even heard the song. I'll I'll it's on Spotify, Mr. Box. and I still haven't even heard it. I'll appease Mr. Box. We'll watch it together real fast, and then you can... Okay, we are back. What did you think about the Yui Pon graduation PV? Kimi ga sayonara iatatte. It was pretty, uh... It was pretty good. I like I liked the, the song, for sure. Um, yeah, it's different. Are... It's different, right? Yeah, it, it's definitely not your typical graduation song. And we've seen kind of like atypical ones from other graduates, but uh, this one is a little bit more like uh, like somber, but like the instruments are still there. Reminded me like of some mecha anime ending. Jimmy said, "Oh yeah, like Gundam Wing." Jimmy, I said that, and then you said Gundam Wing. Okay, <laughs> you just couldn't hear me. <laughs> I will survive. <laughs> It's a yeah, it's but the, it's, uh, it's almost like nostalgic vibe, you know. Mm. It gives a little nostalgic vibe, but yeah, it's still somber, but yeah, still catchy. I like it. Yeah, it's a it's it's definitely got yeah a very uh, retro vibe to it, right? Yeah. Very nineties, mm-hmm. early aughts. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I I think I think Yui Pon's voice complements it very well. It's very smooth, yeah. very yeah. very smooth. Um, Oh, yeah, I like the PV. I like that it's not so... It, it, it's got lots of throwbacks, obviously, too. Like the, the yeah, some dance of, moves and everything. Of the group and stuff like that. But it's it's not so in your face. Right? Um, yeah, that's true. I'm going to be honest. Like you almost have to be paying the, attention. The, mm-hmm. Um, got the, the seagulls. That that hit me in a weird, nostalgic way, dude. Because I think that was... That's a, that's a very ancient meme. One of the yeah. first, like podcast episodes where we actually made a thumbnail for it you know the first three we just put it we just published it as is one of the mm-hmm. first ones we we put the the seagulls as like a i think for a couple the thumbnail. Uh, for a couple we put the seagulls right yeah yeah yeah. but i'm like that's such an ancient meme dude you know what i mean yeah. like uh that's, a, that's an old kayaki zaka throwback dude um yeah. so I was like, now oh, they're at 100 100 percent opacity you know yeah now they're, they're able they to be free to see that, dude. just like yui pun but uh um. Yeah, I know, a lot of a lot of these uh, graduation PVs. You know when they try to hit you in the feel, it's like you know there's there's it's always that scene they go into an empty movie theater, uh-huh. you know, uh-huh. and then it's just <laughs> yeah, flashing yeah. back all the, the slideshow is going on. <laughs> yeah, and I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, that shit gets me every time. You know, I uh-huh. I hate uh-huh. it. I'm like, I know what you're doing, uh-huh. <laughs> and it's working. <laughs> but uh. I, I did appreciate didn't do that. Same, we, right? we didn't really do that here, right? I think this is very much enjoyable as a standalone uh, piece yeah. of art. It's almost like the interpretation right? you get is what's giving you that feeling instead of straight up giving you like mm-hmm. the pictures and the emotion of her past. It's yes. almost like yeah. expressed through the dress, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I gotta say, this song actually has grown on me. When I first listened to it, I was like, yeah, I don't think this is really my vibe. It's a little too... It sounds a little too dated for me, personally. Right and uh, mm. I don't know. I still I still somewhat feel that way. I think it is. It, I mean, it obviously is very dated, but I think it's kind of charming now that uh. Yeah, it's almost like know, the vibe it's going sometimes. for, right? So if you appreciate it, mm-hmm. I mean, it's there for what you want. And if you don't like that kind of sound, I mean, you don't have to like it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Shall we? Shall we? Uh, kick off the the new season with our first ratings of the year, Mister Box. Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's let's start with the PV. Let's start with the PV. On okay. go, three, two, one, go. Seven, six. Okay, 
Uh, uh, almost a seven. Almost, almost. You can yeah, I could, I could, I could. I'm, I'm in between six and seven. You know. Um, yeah. It's. Oh, you, you go ahead. You you explain yours. Yeah. So I, I like the messaging, like I said, behind it with the dress. Like I do really think, like in the pre-production, the dress was the main theme, and like the dancing mm. around was also like the secondary thing. I almost wish they used the location more, because I feel like it was it was such an interesting location with like all the shapes it had and the mirrors. And all the different. Oh, what like, about that drone shot, of, Mr. Boss? <laughs> the drone shot did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, felt, it felt like I was, on, I was like on a roller coaster, and that was like part of it. So I was just like going. No, in it there. felt like you were piloting a Gundam, Mr. Box. <laughs> I will survive. Yeah, uh, music, music video was cool. Coloring was cool. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I do think they can still use the location a little bit more. And. Uh, I do like the little sneak things of dancing. Needs more birds. Oh, the birds! Yeah, for the most part, I, I agree. Uh, I, I think the colors were very nice. I think the, I think like Mr. Box said, you know, you you can definitely tell that there, uh, there was a they they really sat down and and worked through this concept before they started filming. Right? They they definitely had a a vision in mind when they yeah. shot this. Um, yeah, the location's cool. The mirrors were very cool. The different little rooms and stuff like that was, uh, you know, felt very geometric. Felt very Sakura Zaka. Um, uh -huh. I, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure. Maybe, yeah, I, I, I memed it a little bit. I think I got a dock a point for that drone shot. It was very uh, unnecessary, I guess. It's, it's a cool shot, but it didn't really serve any purpose. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, As, I, I feel like the director's like, oh, that looked really cool. Make sure to include that in the video. Editor's yeah, like, they, they uh, had, okay, uh, I'll just, I'll just like throw it on the end. <laughs> yeah, it, it, well, because okay, because because uh, Pone is running through the uh, what is it, uh, the location during that part, right? Mm -hmm. And in, I, I think it was definitely planned. You know, it's like to capture that run, but I, I don't know. I feel like the drone wasn't. The FPV drone wasn't the call. I think I think like a Mavic. Yeah, drone would have exactly. Been yeah, ha having having the camera on like a a steady cam and just chasing after her might have been the better move in my opinion. You know, mm -hmm. something like that, or or having it, you know, having a a, a rail and just following mm. alongside of her. I think would have yeah, been yeah, good. Yeah, like tracking with with the water and like her running. I think would be cool. Yeah. But the the FPV drone going like, oh, you know, it's like, I don't I don't know in music videos like how often, especially for like this type of feeling, the FPV drone is good for. I almost, for I almost wish vibe. it was just a regular it, yeah. drone. It's like just give me a slow walk back, you know, or give me mm. a side going with. It. I don't need real <laughs> like yeah, I don't yeah. need a POV weaving weaving of through a the fly. little aisles, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be a fly. No. I want to be a, a graceful seagull going through. Yeah, dude. I don't know, man. I feel like uh, some of the Sakabichi groups have been putting in these uh, these crazy drone shots. And I'm like, guys, just because you can doesn't mean you have to. He must come with with, with the crew. <laughs> he must be like, yeah. oh, hey, guys, you guys are getting a job. I'm coming with. <laughs> Watch hey, this. Guys, my, my, yeah, my, my nephew really needs this job, guys. Can you just... <laughs> just, just get, let him do one shot. Let him do one shot. Just let him fly yeah. around like a little, you know. He, he's trying to build out his resume. Come on, guys, please. He, need, <laughs> he, need, he needs more credits. Uh huh. Um, but no. Yeah. Uh, what about the song? Let's let's rate the song. On mm. go. Three, two, one, go. Seven. Seven. Start starting off the year right. Oh. It's enjoyable. Uh. Definitely retro, so I like that vibe to it. It leans into it, which I really yes. appreciate. And uh, I think it went all the way when I feel like sometimes these songs don't do it all the way. And they, like, try to mix it up a little bit or be safe about it. But I feel like this one just, like, is able to do it and it works well with their vocals. So I think it's a pretty good package. Will, I, will yeah, it be, like, on my top 10 lists? I don't think so. But, like, mm -hmm. it still is enjoyable and I'll still probably come back to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it definitely knows what style it wants to be, and it's very successful yeah. being that. Um, I I think yeah, the production of it, everything's very uh, nice. Um, yeah. you know, if you go back, you know, five is average, right? So this is definitely above average. I think this is a yeah. very well mm -hmm. put together mm -hmm. Sakura Zaka track. Um, I think just what keeps it from getting higher, in my opinion, is it just feels very uh one note. 
You know what I mean? Mm, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once, yeah. once you've heard, Which, like, I mean, the first... It kind of fits that vibe of, like... Like, we kept on saying, like, the, the anime ending for a... Yeah, but I still wanted anime. it to go somewhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's my you biggest thing. You need the thing. hills it's and like, valleys. Yeah, you listen to the first verse and the, the, the first chorus, you pretty much... You got the song. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, it's like, okay, I get it. Um... Yeah, that doesn't really like an go exciting part, anywhere. like in three quarters. Yeah, it's like, yeah, give yeah. me like a crazy bridge or something, you know, something like that. Just really uh, drive it home. But, uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, yeah, I, f- I feel like having something like that would have, uh, and maybe, yeah, just some more dynamics would have, uh, yeah, 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 put the song up a little bit higher, or maybe lean more in the retro and make it sound like a little like old and a like, cassette. Yeah, dude, like, maybe that could I'll, like super process her voice, make it sound all digital, dude. I want, like MIDI, I want MIDI it to sound like a, in there. Yeah, I want it to sound like a a, a two mix track, dude. <laughs> I want to I want to make it. <laughs> I want to hear the tape that was recorded onto the tape to the to the to the other tape. You know, I had, yeah. I had to hear it being processed three times. But uh, okay, very very nice. Uh, you know, uh, Poem will be uh graduating. In like a week, right? Just a little bit over Dang. a week. From Sounds now. quite fast. Um, yeah, yeah, they're starting their uh, arena tour. Which, hey, that 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 segues into our next bit of news. Oh, we're still um, doing the podcast. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, uh, what is it? So they uh, announced the very beginning, like basically the first. On uh, the first of the month, they announced that they will be doing their um, arena tour, dude. Yeah. Uh, so I believe, yeah. So we got we got some different locations here. We've got the uh, uh, blah, 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 uh, Fukuoka, Fukuoka. Mm-hmm. venue at, on March second and third at Marine Messe Fukuoka Building A, Osaka at Osaka Joe Hall, March oh, twelve and thirteen. Uh, in Aichi, we have the Nippon Gaishi Hall, uh, mm-hmm. March 19 and 20. And then uh, finally, the Kanagawa performance at the Pia Arena on March 26 to 27. Oh. Um, Seats yeah, are 98,000 yen. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty stacked month for them, dude. Um, That's $66. Yeah, think- Look at that. Ooh, that's not too bad, dude, for a, a, a dome tour concert, dude. You know? Yeah. Or, sorry, arena. Arena tour concert. Yeah, that we just gotta... Uh, just gotta find a way to uh, get to Japan, dude. I, wait, when is this again? When is the first one? This is uh, March. Because oh, I was gonna say, right now there's a sale for Zip Air in February. That's like four hundred dollars round trip. <laughs> mm-hmm. But just have to wait a little longer for March. But I mean, yeah. they already started selling tickets for this, right? Yeah. Because general, yeah, general. So, oh no, no yeah, because no, no. yeah, regular so tickets they, started. They... Was oh, that yeah. the pre-application yeah. starts January sixth, and mm-hmm. then the second pre-application is January sixteenth to twenty-second. So that just ended. So the official pre-application without fan club. Is the twenty sixth. Mm-hmm. And then general tickets are February seventeenth. So if you want to try your luck. T- <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, that's a. Uh, I I'm still kind of uh. Holding holding off for the uh. What is it? Um. Birthday live. You know what I mean. Yeah. yeah, I mean yeah. it's the event, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I mean, but, you know, uh, anniversary, like the anniversary, the uh, dome tour. Their tour is always uh, the annual tour is always a big deal. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's per they're currently promoting uh those performances in unis on air right now, dude. Mm. Uh, so uh, yeah, this is this is that's where we got what. Um, 
usually birthday live i think they do the more recent tracks whereas like the the tour like anything goes pretty much you know as far as like mm. you just anything have no clue what show. songs they might perform uh -huh. they're gonna perform some random ass b-side from like nagare dama or some shit you know uh -huh. <laughs> so yeah especially sakura zaka right like, mm. I, I feel like nogi zaka does like all right here's here's the set list and it's like not the most hype songs but like not they, they like do a mix of everything right and then, but then for like mm. the regular cons for the birthday concerts they usually like all right let's go from the beginning yeah 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 um uh, and then uh yeah as we mentioned earlier too you know if uh if that's a little bit too uh too 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 far away from you if you're if you're like in japan like right now and you want to go to uh, a, a Sakura Zaka concert, there's the y Yui Kobayashi graduation concert, January uh, 31st at Yoyogi there National Gymnasium, dude. See if you can um, get a ticket. So it's going to be the 31st and then the fe and, uh, February 1st. So uh, kind of kind of interesting, you know, a big, big concert, a uh, full graduation concert, not just a graduation yeah. ceremony. It's, it's uh, been a minute since we got one of those. Yeah, to to end out this month and then uh, start February and then they go, they have like a month to to get ready and then they pretty much start their tour. So very yeah, no, very busy, busy beginning yeah. of the year for Sakura Zaka Forty Six, dude. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, usually they chill at the end of the year, yeah. but then like January hits, they're like, dude, all right, they, what are we doing? Yeah, they they're going hard already to start off this year, dude. Um, yeah. Because that's not the only thing. I, I think probably either at the Yui Pon grad or maybe, uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, I'll probably assume, assume they're going to probably perform at Yui Pon's grad. Their new single, which they just announced, uh, what is it? Last last week, their eighth single, Ikutsu no Koro ni Modori Tai no Ka. What, what age? Do you want to go back to or whatever the fuck? It's, How it's old called, do you dude. want to be again? Oh, if you put the yeah. English one, it tells you like meaning. Yeah, yeah, but it sounds weird, dude. How old do you want to be again? Dude? It's it's basically the regression, you know, all those, all those Korean regression webtoons I've been reading. <laughs> it's just this. Dude. <laughs> I become level one again, but I'm I'm still level one hundred. <laughs> yeah, regressing with my. Triple S rank skills, dude. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So they uh, they unveiled this at their uh, real life meet and greet, right? It was they, they did like a fun, like their you know those esoteric Sakura Zaka announcements that they always do. They posted mm -hmm. some coordinates, dude. People were like, oh, what the fuck? What are these coordinates, you know? Oh shit, it's the fucking mall in Kyoto, dude. Oh wait, isn't that where they're doing their uh, real life meet and greets it is dude okay maybe mm -hmm. we'll get it yeah so they announced it uh eighth single uh which will be coming out february 21st unfortunately for us uh the timing did not work out the pv will be coming out tomorrow 5 a.m our time uh they know what the podcast PM. is we gone for like that's three what i'm weeks, saying dude, they, they normally it's because they're releasing it at 10 p.m normally they release it at noon if they released it at noon we would be watching it already dude Kind, kind of, kind of fucked up, dude. Kind of fucked That's up. That's BM right there. So, BM. Um, yeah. So, uh, we, we already know what's going to happen, dude. I'm going to watch this BV tomorrow. Um, and then Josh will be like, uh, what? You watched this without me? And I'm like, yes, Josh. It came out on a Wednesday. I'm not going to wait six days to watch it on the podcast. All right. And he's like, I can't even wait less than a week. This. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I. You know, I'm a Sakura Zaka true fan, dude. I'm a buddy. So I'm gonna, I gotta watch that. I gotta, <laughs> dude, in in that six days that I didn't watch it, I could have streamed it a hundred thousand times. All right. But you, you you would only stream one of those days. I mean, I know. I mean, I could I could have played it a hundred thousand times. You get their view. Oh, count okay. <laughs> Talk about like actually streaming, streaming. Yeah. No. <laughs> um. But yeah. Uh. So we don't get the PV yet, but we do have this artist. Uh, this, uh, yeah, the artist photo released. Um, Ooh. got this very pink Sakura oh, Blossom theme, yet. dude. It looks dude, like a Dance for very, Philosophy's, uh, latest single. Yeah, this is a very gorgeous photo, I must say. I think, I think this is, uh, 
Uh, I think this is very well done. I, I think the, the the shadows are very nice. The the glow that they have is a little um, it's a little on the nose, but it, I think it fits the, the the theme, dude. I do like the. I can, I can do that glow too. Oh, he's putting his stupid filter on. All right, now blast your light up, dude. <laughs> No, you don't. Nice you don't thing. have enough, Josh. You 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 need you need to get like a one half or some shit filter, dude. This is a. Uh... I actually do have a half, <laughs> but, but, but it's because this this is like I don't know why it's doing this, hmm. but uh, it's doing it for some reason. Like it isn't. It's supposed to be sharper. <laughs> for some reason, uh, you know, just put some Vaseline on your camera lens, dude. Ah, there we go. Do the classic trick. Hmm. But uh, yeah, very very pretty picture. Um, I'm curious to what the actual song is going to sound like, dude. Uh, you know, it, it, the the little preview has like a very, you know, very uh, reminiscent of band type uh, instrumentals. But then the, oh. the photo to me seems more reminiscent of something like Sakura Zuki, right? In terms of more graceful, mm. maybe like a Sami Dare Yo. So uh, I, I'm I'm curious to how this is all gonna play out on in the music video, but I will say yeah I think this is uh, one of their one of my favorite artist photos that they've done. I think it's very really um, yeah it, it's nothing too crazy, but I just think it's just very well done. You know what I mean? Mm. Like I like like Shonen Yoku I think was too busy. You know what I mean? Uh, uh -huh. Start over. Yeah, I, I, the 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 fuzzy things, you know, the fuzzy effect, the distortion effect that they were doing. I felt like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that one was uh, weird, I, yeah. I like this. I, I like I like I like it when they do stuff like this or like Nagare Dama. I think Nagare Dama is still probably my favorite. But uh, you know, so like stuff like this where it's just like very simple, but you let the uh, the composition and the the members' expressions and things like that speak for themselves. Your job as the, mm. the the photographer here is just to to capture that well right yeah i think like stuff like band is my favorite like that era mm -hmm. the the spooky girl like haunted shit vibes dude. yeah yeah mm. those were good like those vibe. were good i do like those yeah i i just think this... composition wise they were a little bit plain like not not so much the jackets but the artist cover or like the artist photo right they, they like it's just the members all just standing in a row uh -huh, you uh -huh. know what i mean Whereas yeah, I, think, I, I, I guess I really for, like for the this. artist photo, this fits more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whereas yeah, I, I think I feel like this is very interesting. There's a lot of movement here, right? Um, you know, if you if you uh, follow the uh, the sakura blossoms to from from right to left, you know, it kind of trails into like Ten's hand, right? Which is I think is like the big power point of this this picture, right? It's like. Mm -hmm. Where all the energy seems to collect, right? It also, mm -hmm. you know, you have Karen's hand reaching up underneath, you know. Yeah, you have like the dark, the dark edges over there, leading your eye more over there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, Karen's hand, yeah, you're right, and, and then uh, Rena's hand also pointing over there. Rena's hand too, yeah, dude. Oh yeah, so they're all kind of like Mur pointing. Yeah, yeah. yeah so Murai it is a like Renaissance, hand. right? Yeah, Murai use her hand underneath too, also pointing up towards it, dude. You know. Yeah. It's it's very subtle, but there's a lot going on here. I think that's very successful. Okay, I, I think I'm just not the biggest fan of the lighting. Mm. Is it too on the I, nose? I think it's very. I, maybe maybe that's what it is. Yeah, it's like I can see that. I like it personally, but I can see that. It, it, it's like someone. How do I how do I best describe this? It looks old school. But like someone, someone trying the old school. How do I? I can see what you mean. It's like '90s, like it, right when they was tr transitioning to digital, so I had that type of look, and like yeah. someone's trying to recreate it. it. It it looks like like yeah like a '90s studio set being shot with a mod with modern equipment, right? Yeah, that's like, a good way to describe have it. That, yeah, like the 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 lens is obviously modern. It's very sharp, uh -huh. right? The uh, that, that kind of imagery that you get with modern cameras where you don't, you know, mm -hmm. vintage glass would give you something more, more soft. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like you wouldn't be able to like see the detail on their bangs and everything. Mm -hmm. 
I, I can see that. I, I like it. I think it's kind of it makes it kind of. Decent. Yeah, I, I think the posing is the strongest thing for this one, like you're saying. Mm -hmm. And I do like but, the Yeah, yeah. Stay tuned. I guess tomorrow we'll have the PV for that. We can see what the general aesthetic is going to be like for this PV, and then we can hear the uh, the song, and then uh, yeah. we'll come back and watch it together tomorrow, or not tomorrow, next week. Surprise episode <laughs> coming tomorrow. Oh. Uh, yeah, that is going to be it for the Sakura Zaka 46 news. Let's move on to uh, Nogi Zaka. Uh, we got we got some some new news coming out from this. Uh, we 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 announced. Well, we uh, we we covered the announcement for this uh, a while back before I think the last episode before we went on break. But uh, there's been some updates, so I want to just give a quick update on that. As you guys know, we're getting a 5th gen group PV. So we got the jacket, or yeah, the covers and the uh, the title. So the title for that is going to be the Anokoro Nogizaka ni Ita. Right? And then we got the regular version cover featuring all the members. You go down, you have the, uh, what is this, the 7 net. It's got a... Now Mao and Kawasaki Sakura. Uh -huh. Then we have the uh, Rakuten version. It's got uh, Arnold, Duck Lord, Nagi, and Aya. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, Kinokuniya version with uh, Miku, Satsuki, uh, Iroha, and Okahina. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Mr. Box? Which am I copying? Mm -hmm. uh, I, th I think uh, honestly I think the regular net is like the safe one like that's like if, if if there's no easy way to get the other ones you're pretty good with the regular one yeah but yeah, I think just uh, everybody right yeah I, I think I like the 7 net one the most my man dude my man just seven cause you have the, the bright background me. with like them over there but yeah they're lit and the posing is really nice on them the expression is really nice Mm -hmm. I um, I was just nice. gonna say because it's now Mao, but yes, all oh, of those okay. things as well. Bro, Meanwhile, that's, that... if you look at the Rakuten one, I feel like it's a little too simple. And then like them yeah. just all sticking out their tongues, and you see the book, you're like, so what is this book about? <laughs> I also then, just uh, don't like the, uh, you know, uh, the fact that it's a clearly a portrait photo or like a, a landscape photo, but they're like just like okay, fuck it, just uh, <laughs> just slap it on, just put in the center. Yeah, just slap it on uh -huh. there. It just seems like an afterthought, dude, you know? Yeah. And the last one's nice, but, uh, I don't know. It looks a little too, like, I can take this photo esque. Like, anyone it's very can take snapshot. Photo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, very, yeah. it's, it's a snapshot. It's, it's like they just, photo, it, it, it looks like, they, like the house in the back, like California houses. It looks like they just, like, went to the park and took a picture. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the cropping on the feet for me. Ah, like, uh, that's a good point. Yeah, that's what makes it feel like a snapshot, right? Not to, yeah. I hate saying that because it sounds like such a dorky thing. Like, that's not a photograph. That's a snapshot, all right? You know, but I mean, like a snapshot to me, they're not bad, but they're just things that are meant to like, I'm just trying to capture the moment with my friends, right? Yeah. I take lots of snapshots. Whereas when right. I think of taking a photo is when you're like, okay, I want to stop and think about the composition, think about my framing and things like that, right? Mm -hmm. um, this feels like a snapshot, which isn't bad, but if you're putting it on the cover, I would like to see a little bit more thought. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, they did add a light in there, so. True, true. I got to agree, though. I think I think uh, the 7 net is probably the most uh, interesting. You know, like, yeah, like, you got a very strong power, po like, focus point in the center right here. All three mm -hmm. heads, dude. You know, all, all yeah. five pieces of Exodia, dude. You know, <laughs> yeah, and then uh, it's almost like leading lines to it too, to the faces, mm -hmm. which is pretty yeah, interesting. Yeah, the, the the curtains behind them, right? Uh, like the arms and the legs also pointing towards their faces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, I, I just also really like the pose. You know, it just seems very um, what's like the word? chill but confident. <laughs> yeah, well, especially yeah, Sakura, very, right? Uh, she's she's over there like mm -hmm. like oh, call me your highness, right? Yeah, her expression is so good here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. It's, uh... Yeah, very, uh... Yeah, I, I think, yeah, like you were saying, they're very confident but relaxed, right? Uh-huh. 
Um, I think Mal's is good as well. Mal, Mal's, Mal's a little goofy. I'm going to be honest. Mal, Mal's a little bit goofy to me, but it's fine. It's not bad. It's just, it's just like, hmm? <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's like, then, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I'll mm. look at the camera. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. We, I, we had, we, there was some controversy over this on Twitter. I'm not sure if I like want to like super go into it. It's just, uh, it's because of this photo right here. Um, I, I I think I don't know I I think people the last are freaking one? out a little too much on this yeah, page the the, the the fact that there's the homage music, you know in it the homage to the original yeah exactly I I think people know it's an homage I don't think people are like unaware that it's an homage but they're like oh they're children you know and I'm like I guess I don't know I don't give, I don't know how I mean that I was my my first thought was it oh they're they're wearing Mizuki my first thought was oh okay they're paying homage to the original. Yeah, I think if that's people, what I'm saying. If, if that's people's first thoughts, they should be sus. That's so, what. Yeah, that's that's basically my take, dude. I think a lot of people. Were, I'm, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to sound mean, but I'm like some of y'all are self-reporting here, dude. If like, the, <laughs> if the second you see a music gear, you're like, oh, this is fucking lewd. How disgusting, dude. I'm like, dude, do you go? Do you go to the beach, and just fucking freak out, dude? You know. Uh, but like, I, I. I want to be understanding because I get not everybody comes from the same cultural background as me. Maybe you come from like a different, you know, it's the internet, right? Maybe some people come from backgrounds where they're a little bit more uh, reserved, maybe a little bit more modest in terms of like. What's I mean, we came from pretty reserved backgrounds, so. <laughs> it, true, but I'm just saying, you know, I also grew up in California where like the beach yeah, yeah, is that's like true. Yeah, that's true. 15 yeah. minutes away from me. So, so Mizuki means, does not mean shit to me. Yeah, exactly. You know what yeah. I mean? Um I, I think what makes something lewd isn't what they're wearing. It's about, like, posing. It's about expression. It's about what's the focal point of the photo, right? Uh-huh. Um, so, I don't know. I, I, I just... I, I that, that was one of those things where I was like, you know, I, I want to say some things, but at the same time, I'm also hyper-aware of what I, a grown ass man, would look like being the guy defending this on Twitter. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna slide and I'm gonna yeah. save this for when we do the podcast so that I can elaborate and clarify my what I'm trying to say a little bit more uh, <laughs> you know <laughs> a little bit more succinctly. Um, uh-huh. I think it's fine. I don't know. I mean I could be wrong. Maybe maybe we get some more previews and I'm like, hey yo, this shit's kinda sus, dude. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't know, man. I think it's fine. I don't think I've seen anything so bad that bad thus far, dude. I think it's just, yeah, no, the yeah, it's just an really homage cool. to an old photo. It's a, uh, I think it's cute. I, I, it, they're yeah, they're in Mizugi, but they're also in a pool. You know what? what, what <laughs> Where it's appropriate. It's more to wear that. <laughs> it's more weird that they have skirts in the pool. But that's just me. <laughs> You know, <laughs> uh-huh. like I, if it was like one of those weird gravier shoots where she's like in the living room on the couch in a bikini and high heels. Sure. I'd be like, all right, that's a little weird, you know, uh-huh. but uh-huh. what do you what, what are you supposed to wear in the pool? I don't know. Uh-huh. I, I, I do want to say there's one take I saw that I thought was just so egregious. I, I And I know they mean well, but I just did not like this take at all. Somebody posted there was like a. This this went back. This, uh, this kind of blew up a while back, and I got really annoyed. There was a dude. There's some disgusting ass Woda who uh, posed with a, a picture of uh, Now Now, right? Like a big cardboard cutout of Now Now, and he like he he had his hands on her chest, right? And and uh, this is like a Japanese Woda, but everyone blasted this. They like retweeted like, Yo, what a sick fuck, right? What's what the fuck is wrong mm-hmm. with you, right? Um, so somebody retweeted that picture again and was like. It's because you do shit like this that, like, it incentivizes these people. And what I don't like about that is that it almost puts, like, some responsibility on the members as to, like, how they can carry themselves. Like, you know, it's like, oh, so if you're going to wear a bikini, you're almost asking for people to do shit like this, right? Because it's like, but it's like, they have been dressed like nuns up until this point, And he's still doing shit like this. You yeah, know, that's not like, gonna stop him or incentivize him even more. Yeah, like, gonna people are going to be gross regardless. That That's completely on them we should be policing uh-huh. those people not the the members you know what i mean yeah 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 so my fault my fault the victim <laughs> yeah yeah exactly that, that i just wanted to say that because i just felt that was like super un- like that was a very unfair statement you know as if they had like um you know any kind of responsibility 
over people like discussing people's actions you know and i know that that's not what the person was thinking but i was like i think i think your thought needs a little bit more uh i think you need to flesh that thought out a little bit more because mm -hmm. i don't think you realize what you're saying you know what i mean mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i think i think i get it we want to protect the members and i think people immediately you know they they see the the fifth gen which is a, the, a, a younger gen they're newer and they immediately are concerned you know like oh, i don't want people looting them and shit which is fine i get it you know i I get, I fucking now bow dad here, dude. The second someone <laughs> remotely says anything about any of them in the Discord, I'm like, hey, I will ban you. I will ban the fuck <laughs> out of you. I don't give a fuck. Uh -huh. I will mod abuse all day. <laughs> so I get it. But I, I'm just like, yeah, I think we got to watch how we, we express this, this feeling because sometimes, yeah, it's like you don't realize it, but you're putting some of that uh, responsibility on the members, right? Yeah, that's true. Um, that's all I wanted to say. That I didn't want to give it too much uh, attention, but it did kind of bother me. So that shit's that shit's been on my chest for like a month, dude. Since whenever it's they right, fucking it's our, announced it's our podcast. this photo, dude. <laughs> <laughs> all right, last last bit of news before we uh, take a quick break and we go to more. the uh, comment of the week and the uh, the TV show roundup. We got uh, one last bit of news. We got our girl. Reno Nakamura, dude. Nakamura Reno will be appearing in a musical. Hey, get that work, baby girl. Uh, she's going to be in the musical Endless Shock, dude. You are so shocked. Shock is an original musical piece that depicts the entertainer Koichi and his company running through their destiny while continuing to question the meaning of the words, show must go on. Uh, excuse me. This uh, production makes full use of Imperial Theater's world-class stage mechanisms. It's, excuse me, etc., is presented through song, dance, action, percussion, sword fighting, stairfall, magic, and Koichi Domoto flying above the 1,900 seat audience. Wait, real magic? The story that resonates with those who love entertainment has been greatly acclaimed as an original music go born in Japan. Uh, oh, she so, plays the hero. Uh, Rika. Yeah, so she's going to play the hero of Rika as she did last year. So, um, Endless Shock 2024. Uh, will be, uh, what is it, uh, at the Imperial Theater from April 11th to May 31st. Uh, total 56 times, that's crazy. Um, mm -hmm. And then from July to August, it will be at the Umeda Arts Theater Main Hall. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure this doesn't make sense. And then uh, September, I, I think these aren't fully fleshed out yet, so we'll see. But, uh, yeah, got some promotional images right there. There's our girl Nakamura Reno. Hey, get that work. Get that work, dude. You love to yeah. see it. Get it. Oh, okay. One more bit of news, that. Dude. Hmm? There's one more bit of news you missed. Oh, what did I miss? You missed uh, the English subs are available for Nohichu. Oh, I did miss that. I, I put that in myself. I just fucking forgot, dude. Um, yeah, alright, quick update for all the international homies. This is kind of a big deal. This yeah. is kind of a big deal, dude. Uh, Nogizaka Haishinchu now has official English subs. Uh, yo, much love to good enough English subs, dude. You have worked so hard <laughs> carrying the international fandom for, for Nogizaka uh -huh. Kojishu for so long, dude. Otsukare sama deshita. I'm sure, I'm, I don't know if you're gonna keep uh, translating or not, but I want I want to say I didn't just forget about you. I appreciate what you do, even if I stopped watching English subs, you know, just just because I stream and so I have to watch it mm -hmm. in Japanese as it comes out. But the offer hey, still stands. You know? we'll, we'll buy you dinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. I, I mean, I used I used his uh, subs just yesterday. I was I was catching up on the three weeks of episodes I missed because I didn't stream. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I was like, oh, okay. So the the first episode I watched had English subs already, but they didn't sub last week's episode yet. For the, the you know, the official translations. So somebody hooked uh -huh. me up with a, a good enough English subs translation. I'm like, hell yeah. There we go. So, um, yeah, they, dude, they, they're, he's putting out episodes like the next week. So that's it's like within the week of the episode releasing. So that's crazy. Yeah, crazy. Um, but... Yeah, so, but for, you know, people who want an easy access to the backlog of so many Nogizaka Kojichu episodes on the Haishinchu channel, if you go into the YouTube.com, um, 
you know, the Nogizaka Haishinchu channel, and then you go to their Nogizaka Under Construction playlist, you can find all those episodes there as soon as YouTube decides to work. Uh, let, me, let me scroll back to some random ass episode. Uh, let's go to 2022's year end party, huh? How about that, hey. dude? Um, any moment now, any second now, this will load, YouTube. Come on, YouTube. Uh, you can do it. You know, make sure you hit that little gear button. You hit subtitles. Oh, yeah. Any second now. That's important. Any second now. Any second now. Any second. Does, does that one have subs? And... <laughs> no, no. It's, it, it does. I think it's just my English. There we go. Yeah, dude, look at that. Here are today's members, dude. Dang, that old of an episode has English subs. Mm -hmm. So you guys can catch up yeah, I think if the, you missed anything. I think the entire backlog um, now has Dang, subs. Dang, they put in some work. Yeah. So, hold on one second. My computer's freaking out. I can still hear the audio even though I already closed the video. <laughs> it's lagging behind. Yeah. What the heck? Why won't it stop? <laughs> no, the audio is still playing, dude. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, so they must have been working on this for a while. Like this isn't just wait, like a uh, wait, 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 Josh. Oh, uh, let's 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 run that back to. Yeah, yeah. Just 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 continue your thought. What you're about to say. Okay, they must have done this for a while because to translate all those episodes all the way from the beginning of the archive on the YouTube channel is crazy. So this must have taken a long time. They stacked up all the English subs and they released it all at once. It's yeah. a crazy amount yeah, yeah. of effort. And for them to continue this is big ups to them for, for doing this. Mm -hmm. I think I think the crazy part is, so I think it definitely is... Uh... To some extent, machine translated. I think a lot of the heavy lifting was uh, through machine translation. But you can clearly tell watching through this that it has passed through a human touch. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, there, like if you walk, if you go through some of the episodes, there's, there's de it's definitely been localized. There's definitely been someone who's, you know, a human has taken the effort to try to, uh, you know, convey a thought in a way that, like, someone who isn't from Japan would understand it. You know, yeah. whereas like you know, a lot of the machine translations, if you just auto, uh, even if they were accurate, it's just like some phrases don't make sense, right? When you translate them literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, it's cool. I mean, yeah, a lot of work went into this, especially because there's so many episodes, right? We're like on 440 something episodes of uh, Nogizaka Kojichu. So mm -hmm. yeah, cool to see. I, I definitely look forward to going back and and rewatching some episodes. I I yeah. definitely think this is gonna help, man. Um, I think uh, I, I've been sharing this thought a lot. Uh, so I was watching. Um, well, I watched the the Kohaku performance of Idol by USOB, right? And so mm -hmm. you, you, if you've seen that, you know that you know they had like all of, all of the idols that were at Kohaku performed that. And, you know, there's a lot of K-pop idols at Kohaku now. So uh, you know, New Jeans, Seventeen, Misamo, La Seraphim, right? Uh, Stray Kids, I believe, right? Uh, so uh, they were, you know, all on the stage. So you know, they have pretty large fan bases. People put clips up on a uh, TikTok, right? And then uh, in the comments, there will always be somebody like, "Oh, what the? Where did you find this? I keep, I try to look it up on YouTube, but I can't find it." And I'm like, <laughs> "It's in my mind. I'm so fucking used to this being a masochist. I'm uh -huh. like, what do you mean? It's easy. You just make a, 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 a an account on this private idol tracker." <laughs> they download have to get this invited 35, to. <laughs> yeah, that you'd be invited to download this thirty-five gigabyte file. What are you hopefully, about? hopefully your ratio is all right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, because mine is it. Ooh. <laughs> but like, uh, you know, they're they're so used to just having things accessible as it should be. I'm not trying to say this like a boomer, like oh, he spoiled K-pop. I was like, no, that's the way. Oh, they don't be. know what it's like. <laughs> yeah, I, I've been getting into La Seraphim. That shit's so easy, dude. I don't speak a lick of Korean. I just. Turn on the subs <laughs> on their YouTube Literally channel, anything you, know? you want to know is already in English, right? Yeah. So I think Nogi Zaka Kojichu doing this is a very good step in the right direction. You know, yeah, people sure. get now people who are now fans of uh, Nogi Zaka 
can easily click onto uh, you know their their regular show and turn on the uh, the English subs and you know learn about you know the the wonders of now now you know um, yeah yeah <laughs> that's one aspect of it um, cool any, any anything else you'd like to add Mr. Box nothing else all right so on that note we're gonna take a quick break and we'll be right back with the highlight comments of the week and the TV show highlights and we're back Hey, you know what time it is. It's time for the highlighted comment of the week where we go back and read a comment from the previous episode. Highlight one of your guys' thoughts. Uh, this one is going to be uh, from our homie DJ Black Tourmaline, dude, DJBT2718. Thank you so much for your comment. It says, my top three songs for the three groups was Drone, Senkaichu, Great Choice, Great Choice, Tacos, Popcorn. Uh, you can hear my complete top 101 artists of 2023 over on the archive site with the org suffix that cannot be named on YouTube. Chica Idol Matsuri 2023 Best. Um, I just wanted to highlight that because, hey, everybody knows Drone was the song of the year. All right. Best song. Hands down. Hands down. This was a little bit of bias over here. Chat, remember when, when I used to pick the comment of the week? It was concise, it was it was not biased, and it was fair for all. Just to go Look, you, you, season season six, do you wanna pick it again, Josh? Do you wanna start picking them again? <laughs> no, you brought the segment back, you're keeping it. <laughs> <laughs> Please <laughs> I can't take this responsibility. I just wanna talk about how good drone senkaichu is. Just right? keep it to one comment there. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna be going back to one comment. Uh, while we do appreciate all of your comments, um, you know, we we just we just trying to keep it a little bit concise. All right. Yes, this um, is a special long episode, so. Yeah, yeah, we uh, we are we are getting up there in episode length. So, uh, while we do appreciate all the comments you guys leave, um, you know, we we got we gotta make it a little bit more selective. You know, we gotta start picking out the ones that really uh, really get into the heart of things. You know. And I'll say, Drone Senkai Chu. <laughs> what would anyway. you rate it? What would you rate Drone Senkai Chu now, Josh? Now that anyway, you've uh, cleared your mind a little Jimmy? bit. Now that you've been exercised of your demons. <laughs> exercised of my demons. <laughs> it's okay. It's no longer a four, Jimmy. Okay. You don't have to worry. It's at least a five. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm taking him out. I'm taking him out. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, okay. Let's get to the TV show highlights. It's part where we go back and we uh, we recap uh, you know, the uh, the episodes uh, from the previous week. Anything we may have watched. Anything that was exciting. Anything that was interesting. I'm very sad because there was no spicy sessions this month. Dude. I think oh, no. All it. Holiday First episode so good. Uh, we, we won't be getting spicy sessions back until February. Um, so I've been real sad. But I did... I'm going to be honest. The, the past three weeks of each group's episodes, uh, uh, TV shows, are a blur to me. Because I watched all of them nonstop, <laughs> back-to-back on my stream yesterday. <laughs> um, you know, during our break. I'm going to be honest. I took a break from watching the regular shows same, as well. Same. So, so uh, yeah, I caught up on all of them yesterday. Um, let's see. Nogizaka Koji Chu was, uh, what did they do in Nogizaka Koji Chu? Uh, I, I'm still on my break apparently because I didn't watch anything. Oh, sorry, no. We, we should start with Hinata Zakadama show, right? Yeah, we go Hinata yeah. Zakadama show. Um, same order as the news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I'm trying to remember, dude. I remember stuff that I watched yesterday. I'm just trying to remember which one exactly was Hinata Zakadama show. Um, oh, it was the Kumi graduate uh, Kumi birthday special. How um, dare you even even think of saying graduation with Kumi's word? <laughs> <laughs> the Kumi graduation special. Well, because we have a different graduation special later on, but uh, yeah, this was the Kumi uh, birthday special. You know, uh, Kumi she just turned uh, what what uh, forty nine years old. Yeah. 
<laughs> so uh, yeah, it was a little look back. So the first part of the episode is you know a little a little history of uh, Sasaki Kumi throughout the years, dude. You know, uh, got some, got to see some cute baby photos of her and stuff like that. But I think the real highlight of this episode was all the mono money. You know, all the members doing uh, different mono of uh, the different of of the other members, right? Uh, as a kind of like you know just to entertain Kumi. Uh, but you, it's it's just like, you know how these mono ma- mono money sections go. It just turns into a roast session, dude. You know. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Watanabe Arena, the 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 youngest child, really showing uh-huh. out for this, dude. I didn't, oh. I I didn't realize she had jokes like that, dude. She was making hella okay. fun of her, her her peers, dude. She's like, oh, this is Takeuchi Kirari, dude. When she's fucking, you know, walking onto the stage at Shinzan Mono, she's like, oh, oh I got the I'm like, damn, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and kind of fucking her like that, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, what, what was the another one she did? Uh, she did she did a couple that were pretty funny. Um, oh, it was uh, she made fun of Miyachi Sumire, dude. Uh, just uh, you know, like oh, when Miyachi Sumire says it's Daijobu, when it's clearly not Daijobu, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's like oh, dude, I fucking. Oh, I, I lost my shoe during the concert. It's like, oh, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> you know? uh, yeah, making fun of her voice and her gestures and stuff was very funny. Um, yeah, we got we got a lot of other really funny ones, too. Um, like, uh, what is it? You know, Russian. Uh, oh, yeah. Kawada Hina, how she always says, like, Tashkani before you, you even really say anything. You know what I mean? <laughs> It's like, oh yeah. So by the way, earlier today, ah, Tascani. It's like, bitch, are you even <laughs> listening? <laughs> Did you hear what I said? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that was, yeah, that was really the funnest part. Uh, definitely give it a good, give it a watch for the uh, Mono Mane, in my opinion. Um, you know what is? Oh, Chad's bringing up the the one of Paru, right? This was a uh, Yamashita Haruka doing it, right? It's like, oh, you know how Paru gets all. All over the fucking uh, the the Kohai members, dude. She, you know, even though she's a senpai, she acts like she's like the fucking baby and shit like that. Like, <laughs> I don't want to go yet, <sighs> you know. Oh, wait, no, pick me, pick me with you, kind of shit like that, you know. Being all babby and shit, you know. Uh-huh. Like, damn, dude, Paru Paru's not even here to defend herself. That's fucked up, dude. That's fucked up. <laughs> Just uh, behind her back, dang. Yeah, dude. Uh, this episode, I think you watched, right? Because I, I watched. I think you were here when I watched it on stream. This is a uh, for uh, Soko Magatara Sakura Zaka. This is the uh, Kobayashi Yui graduation episode, the big send off, dude. Uh, we 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 get like a uh, you know kind of like a look back throughout the years with Yui Pon at the beginning. Um, mm. I think the the most entertaining part though was the uh, the handshake section. You know, we oh, got yeah, yeah, uh, sure. Yui Pon doing the Akushukai with the other members. Uh, uh-huh. Saito Fuyuka is her staff son, dude. You know, <laughs> like uh, I, I, I think she was counting too. I think I, I, I started like, like looking up and counting. So I think she was like actually counting like the ten seconds or whatever. I, I, that, I'm gonna be honest. That shit gave me PTSD, dude. It was too <laughs> real, too real, dude. Members are trying to come uh-huh. up. Like, was it Karin trying to come up? It's like, oh, uh, yeah. So during the. Uh, the That's true kaijin experience right there. ah jikan des jikan des you know uh it starts funny when they're, she's like dragging the other members and shit like that. Uh-huh. <laughs> like wait no i wasn't i wasn't done dude and see and, and they called it out they're like oh that's the power type so so that's actually a thing that some people do they like resist the staff pushing them past oh yeah dude that would be me bro <laughs> just a brick they're like oh I, yeah. I need more people here to help me <laughs> standing your ground three I'm, people I'm dropping you. into a horse stance dude I'm not moving <laughs> I'm not moving dude. these are all the tickets I can get I'm, I'm squeezing every second I can <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah that, that dude the, the, this this part was so funny I uh-huh. I I remember laughing out loud a lot during the, the whole Akushukai segment Mm-hmm. Um, I like how then, Rumi uh, had, a, the had, had the the picture that she won from like a, a a raffle from like one of the the campaigns they were doing, and she brought it. She's like, yeah, ever since I was a fan, I had this, and, and then you signed it for me. I was like, hey, yeah, that's yeah, nice. that's that was pretty cute. Nice. That was super uh-huh. cute. Mm-hmm. And then uh, at the end, it was uh, you know obviously the handshake was something the members wanted to do with her. At the end, it was something Sawabe wanted to do. He's like, bitch, I want revenge. 
for that fucking mallet helmet junkin pwn shit dude you know uh so uh i mean obviously they showed a clip of when you know he played with habu dude he's like yeah i got fucking murked by you guys dude you know you guys don't you guys play dirty dude it's fucked up <laughs> um yeah so uh they got that and uh you know pwn still ended up winning dude but you know it is it is what it is dude going out with the bang um mm-hmm Last but not least, we have Nogizaka Koji Chu. Uh, this week is kind of like a, like a, I guess somewhat of an acting challenge, right? It's like the gunmen battle, like the face expression battle, you know? Um, so, uh, you know, the first part is like the, the members would be, you know, in a, a little behind a thing and they have to uh, act out uh, a certain, like a certain feeling, right? Yoon. You know, okay, uh, they've done something similar, right? B- before Bikuri, right? But they can only do it with their face, no hand uh, gestures, no, li- yeah, no, no you lines. You can't say anything. Yeah, yeah, uh, no lines. You can, you have to do it purely with your with your face, dude. And then uh, uh, after that, there's like the uh, what is it? Uh, the Azuki chopstick thing. You know, where you gotta pick up the red beans and put it like pick it oh. up with the chopstick. So mm-hmm. basically, you had to like. Th- there's a counter, uh, and then uh, there's a box. You have to go into the box and take your picture when once the countdown is over, right? So you you step out. You're 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 putting you're taking beans from one plate into the next plate. It's counting down three, two, one, oh, oh, one. And you have to pose cute like and shit like that, you know. And then uh, uh-huh. whoever has the most beans uh, at the end that's that's moved over wins, dude. You know. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, it's just about you know being able to keep like a, a, a cute face and shit like that, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I mean, there's, it's a, there's as Yoda and uh, Yoda and Yakubo have a battle where they have to jump rope, and then and then when it counts down, come back in and take a, a cute pose, and then uh, yeah, after that is the Omoide uh, ga Tomoraku Tomoranaku Naru uh, studio performance. That's the undersong, the Arnold Center, right? Mm-hmm. With the uh, big sparkly lights in the the post production. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty much it for this uh, the episodes this week. A lot of they're all very good, very very funny. Uh, okay, very okay, that's good to hear. Yeah, I'll probably check out the new one. Is the English subs up for that one on the official channel yet, or no? Uh, not yet. No. How long do they take usually? Like a week or more? A couple weeks. I think they're a couple weeks behind. Oh, okay. Okay. But yeah, definitely. yeah, give it a watch. Uh, I didn't watch anything else. Did you? Oh, the Maybe, YouTube I stuff. I, guess, yeah. I, I watched the YouTube yeah. stuff. It was, uh, but just a couple of it. I watched the uh, everyone going back to their hometown, for for or you know going what what they did on their their holidays, mm. right for the New Year's. Um, mm. I mainly wanted to watch Hinata Zaka's because I wanted to see Yoki show up with with Shogenji, you know. So oh. that's, that's why I watched those. Yeah, but she does. And it's it cute. came true. Hmm. It was like three seconds, but I got it, dude. But, all right, that's going to be it for the TV show highlights, but you know you know what that means it's for this week's episode. Hey, season six, we made it. Thank you guys so Let's much go. for watching. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, and uh, maybe it'll be picked next week for the TV show highlights. Uh, check out some of the videos Josh has been working so hard at. You know, we got lots of interviews. We got another one coming up, all right? Catch you guys in the